what's up guys and welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be doing a split end treatment in my daughter's hair i just uh, recently took out her braid she had a man for about a week and a half so you, you can tell her hair needs some tlc so before we even get started go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already like this video and comment and let me know if this like a treatment you guys would do all right so i already sectioned her hair off i put them um, you know four parts that's normally the the way i always section her hair i always break it off in fours because i don't like trying to do her hair in a big section so what we're going to start off with is my split end treatment that i got from Mayel. it's the rice water edition pretty much what you do with that you just put it at the end of her hair and you let it sit it's two ways you can do it but i'm gonna show y'all one way then another video i show y'all a different way so what I'm going to do is get one section and I'm going to split that section up I split that section up I get the uh, rice water I get that and I put some on her hair so I can get it a little wet for me and then once I put it in her hair I twist her hair up and then I put the some more at the ends of her hair so I just want to make sure that I get it on her hair not even in her scalp just more on her hair strings and at the end of her hair make sure it's kind of damped real good Okay, that is one section down. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more rice water to the ends of it. Make sure I get it nice and wet now. Now it should already be kind of damp from the previous one, but now I wanna kind of get it a little where it's dripping kinda. Now once I do that to that section, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the other section and just continue with the twist. And after I twist her whole head out, I'm gonna put a plastic bag on and let her sit for about 10 to 15 minutes.
right now then let it sit for about a good almost 15 minutes so now what i'm going to do is just rinse it out and get started with her washing her wash day so normally i've started something new i started putting conditioner in her hair before i shampoo it i don't know it's actually made her hair manageable when it's sh when i'm shampooing it don't tangle up as much and her hair feels super soft too and then after i do the conditioner i do my shampoo Today I'm gonna to be using the rice water collection. I have all collect, I have the whole collection, but I'm gonna use that one. The rice water don't come with a conditioner, so I'm gonna use that conditioner and along with the same pomegranate and honey. I'm gonna use that conditioner and that leave-in conditioner. I just shampooed her hair. I actually shampooed her hair out twice. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the pomegranate and honey conditioner in her hair. And I'm going to let that sit in for five minutes. And then I'm going to rinse that out and then put in the leave-in conditioner. All right, guys, after I let the conditioner set in for about five minutes, I done rinsed it out. And this is how her hair turns out. So now I'm finna put in the honey pomegranate leave-in conditioner. And then after I do that, I'm gonna do my steps to let her hair dry. Cause like I told y'all before in the last one, when I did the aloe vera pre-poo, I, I let her hair air dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the leave-in conditioner in first.
Okay, so while I'm putting in the leave-in conditioner, I'm also going to detangle her hair and section her hair off in fours. That way, after I do my leave-in, I add in her, her moisturizer. I'm finished with one section and I kind of stretch her hair out while I'm while it's drying that way it don't shrink on me and then it'd be hard for me to detangle it so now that I did the rest of her hair I stretched them all out with the hair tie Now I'm gonna moisturize her hair. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the Miley Organics Avocado Moisturizing Hair Milk. I've been using this product for about two months now and it really keeps her hair very moisturized throughout the day. Even when I braid her hair and take her braids out, her hair still be, it still be moisturized. So it's a good product, y'all should get it for real. And now that I'm done with moisturizing and twisting her hair, I get the Jamaican castor oil and I just spray it 
I just spray it in her hair. I make sure I get on her strands more than her scalp because I use a different type of oil for her scalp. But I just make sure I spray it on her strands so her hair don't dry, dry, if that makes sense. I want her hair to dry and to be moisturized still because like I said before, I don't do her hair to the next day. So I'm just gonna let her air dry. And it normally take about a day. It'll be dry tomorrow afternoon, probably. Okay, and now I use this Wow Growth Hair Oil. I put that on her scalp and I rub it in and make sure that it goes in, not just sit in there. I want it to actually go into her scalp and then go into the top of her hair strands and I run it through her twist and that's pretty much all I do and let her hair air dry and do what it gotta do. hair is completely dry so pretty much what I'm just gonna do is take out the rest of her twist uh, detangle it with my hand I'm not gonna use a comb I'm gonna detangle it with my hand and then put some of the wild growth oil on my hand and I'm gonna let her wear her hair out for about a week so I'm gonna let her you know just let her hair breathe before I braid it up Alright guys, thank you for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like this video. And if you're not already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Life of a Peach.